our world and beyond. Space, in partnership with the European Space Agency. London, a city in constant motion, bustling with life. Underlying this movement is a fundamental force that we often take for granted. It's the force that quite literally keeps our feet on the ground. Gravity is a fundamental quality of mass. Wherever we have mass in the universe, then we have gravity. And what gravity does is it causes things to gravitate towards each other, to pull towards each other. As Newton famously described, a falling apple is accelerated towards the Earth by gravity. If we accept that gravity is driven by distributions of mass, then the Earth, obviously, you, we look around us, you can see it's quite a lumpy place. Although, you know, we originally thought the Earth was a, was a sphere, well, we now know it's not a sphere. We know that the mass is unevenly distributed throughout the Earth. It's, it's denser in some places, and there's more of it in various bits. And th so, therefore, gravity follows that. So what, the distribution of the mass drives the distribution and the strength of gravity. That means that gravity actually varies very slightly from one area of the planet to another. We're trying to understand the mass distribution of the Earth. If we measure gravity terrestrially in our local environment, for example, then you suffer from, from local noise effects, people moving mass around, a London bus going past. That would upset our measurements. If even a bus can influence gravity field readings, then the best way to build a global picture is from space. It's only by putting something into orbit that's able to sample the gravity field all the way around the globe that we're able to get a global picture of the gravity field. This is the satellite that's going to give scientists like Marek Zibard the data they'd love to have. Known as GOCHE, this is a European Space Agency mission that will map the Earth's gravity field in unprecedented detail. It's the low-flying hot rod of the satellite world, skimming the atmosphere at an altitude of just 260 kilometers. It's due for launch in March. The main instrument is the gradiometer, and the gradiometer being composed of these uh, six ultra-sensitive accelerometers uh, is measuring uh, what we call the gravity gradient. Goche is carrying plenty of new technology, including its innovative iron drive. To keep vibration to a minimum and ensure the readings are reliable, the satellite has been designed with no moving parts. ESA expects its latest creation to break new ground in science. With a very high spatial resolution, so we are aiming at uh, a resolution which is less than 100 kilometers, which has never been reached before. In the grounds of Hurstmont Zoo Castle in southern England lies a tracking station that will make sure Goche's data are as accurate as the engineers are promising. This is one of 10 core stations worldwide that will record the satellite's path. It offers a vital checkpoint when measuring the gravity field. Uh, this is a satellite laser ranging telescope. Uh, so we fire a pulse of light at uh, satellite, laser light, and record the time of flight of a photon to there and back. Um, essentially giving a precise orbit for the satellite. The system can measure a satellite's orbit to an accuracy of one centimetre. Essentially, without um, orbital information, orbital tracking, the satellite could be anywhere. You don't know where it is, you don't know how high it is, 
So that makes an awful difference to the gravity field. This animation shows how the force of gravity varies around the planet. Goche will help build a much more intricate picture that should allow scientists the chance to advance their understanding of how water moves around the surface of our planet. Ocean circulation is one of the key factors that needs to be taken into account when analysing the advance of climate change. Gravity, um, together with other fundamental forces such as the wind, uh, air pressure variations and tides, all have a regulatory effect on the way in which the ocean circulates. If we can get a map and model the Earth's gravity field to make what's known as a geoid, and then compare that with data on ocean levels, then we can have an insight into the processes governing our Earth system. Goche is designed to make a product which is known as a geoid. A geoid is a fundamental reference surface which is applied the world over as a, as a way and a means of measuring height. As the ocean circulates, the height is not equal everywhere and we see bumps and uh, valleys and uh, troughs in the surface of the ocean called ocean topography dynamic topography and if we can measure the difference between this humps and bumps in the ocean surface and the geoid it gives us access to information which tells us about the ocean circulation. The way in which warm water is transported from the equator to the poles has a significant influence on climate. And so, we need to understand better the role that gravity plays in that process of ocean circulation. This is not a, a scientific indulgence of a mission. This is critically important that we, we get this right and we get this kind of information. Because without the data we get from a mission like Gochi, we can't really nail down the energy transport mechanisms around the globe. Gochi will represent a step change in our capability to force the inputs to climate change models to be less uncertain. Mm -hmm.